Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a haul video because I went shopping in Omaha this weekend with some friends. So I got quite a bit of stuff that I wasn't planning on getting, or do I need? I'm excited because I have not done a haul video in quite a while, so I hope you guys are too. And sorry it's a little bit windy out today. If you hear that in the background, that is what it is. But without further ado, let's just get into the video and hope you guys enjoy. So the first store I went to was Lululemon, and I just got one thing because I had to restrain myself from buying all the really cute spring stuff that they have in season right now. But I really wanted a new water bottle because my Camelback actually got mold in the mouthpiece and it's really disgusting and I tried to clean it out and get a new one in general like a new mouthpiece but then it ended up not fitting so I just decided to get a whole new water bottle instead just in case the mold thing happens again because it actually happened to my friend's mouthpiece on hers too I just decided to get a whole new water bottle in general so I can avoid the situation as much as possible so I ended up getting this really cute glass water bottle from Lulu and I actually got the periwinkle one but I left it at Becker's place so I just decided to grab my roommate Combs's because she has the exact same one just in pink so this is what it is sorry it has water in it but it's really cute it has kind of this like jelly thing around it and then it looks like this and then you just unscrew it <laughs> it looks like that but I really like it because I don't know if it's just me but I think water does actually taste better in glass versus plastic like I'm not super picky on my water or anything but it's just kind of a nice preference and I feel like it's cleaner and I won't get that whole mold issue so this is all I got from Lulu and I think this was like $28 or something so kind of expensive for a water bottle but I know that it'll last me a while and I love to have just water around with me at all times. The next store I went to was J. Crew, not just J. Crew, but the J. Crew outlet, which is always a plus because everything is so much more inexpensive, so it's so nice. So the first thing I got was this black tank top, super plain and boring. But I have been needing a black tank top for so long, I always forget to buy one and every time, it's like every weekend comes around and I'm like, oh I want a black tank top but I don't have one. So I decided to pick it up when I saw it because it's a lot cheaper than the ones that they sell at the actual J. Crew. So this one was originally $22.50 and this was half off so I got this for about $11, $10-$11. So I got the black one and then I also got a white one because I feel like my white tank tops just don't last very long because they just get dirty so quickly so I just got a new one since it was half off and then the last thing I got from J. Crew was this super cute phone case and I actually haven't changed my phone case in a really long time I had my wildflower cross one on for a really long really long time so I decided to get this one because it was half off and it was like nine dollars it ended up being which is nice because their phone cases can kind of be a little expensive at times but it just has this really cute pink paisley pattern and I think it looks really nice on my wet iPhone so I'm super excited about this so then I went to the Kate Spade outlet but I actually want to show you what I got there last because it's my favorite thing ever so fast forward a little bit we actually went to Urban Outfitters so I got a few things from there the first thing I got was this black bralette and I have a white bralette that I got from Free People and that was my first bralette that I got and I love it so much I wear it all the time so I've always been looking since then for a black one but a little bit of a cheaper one because my one from Free People was like 40 something bucks which is annoying so I found this one and I got really excited and it has this cute little lace pattern on it and it's a little V which is adorable because then you can also sometimes wear a regular bra or a strapless bra with it instead of just sticky boobs so that's really nice so the next thing I got was well tangled up is this top right here and it's actually like a short crop top kind of thing going on but I got it in a size up so that I could wear it a little bit looser and not like super short on my torso you know you feel guys you feel I don't really have anything like this pattern or anything so that's why I really liked it I think they had it in black and red but I like this one in particular my roommate actually found this so thank you Combs you are a gem but it has like this aztec -y print on it and then this cute blue detailing on the front which I love and then it also has this little button right here in the back so it's kind of like tighter at the top and I really like this fit but a lot of times I try on tops like this at Urban it ends up being like on my chest like this so that's a really cute look right this one thankfully didn't do that so I was really pumped about it and it might be because I got the size up but I don't know really really like this top oh and this was $49 so kind of annoying the next thing I got from Urban was something that I was super stoked about because I have been looking for a pair of black high-waisted shorts for so long and I can never find ones that end up fitting me right because they always are like 
too big around the waist or too big around like the thigh area and too small at the waist or just like did not fit right like too long in the crotch area or something so finally I found ones that fit all around it was actually 75 degrees here in Nebraska yesterday so it was so nice and I got to wear these but they are just super duper comfortable and they're like really high-waisted which I love so I can wear my really short like crop tops with it and it won't look like not showing that much skin or any skin at all and it looks like this, this is just the BD, BDG brand which is the Urban Outfitters brand I believe and I think this was like $45 or so. Last thing I got from Urban is this really cute skirt and it's just kind of a flowy high waisted -y shirt I don't know but it has this band right here which makes it really comfortable in the back. I actually tried this on in the front which is weird now that I noticed this tag is in the front. Okay, so I guess this is the back with the stretchy part and the zipper is in the front. I don't really know how I feel about that. No, it has this really long exposed zipper in the front slash back. I guess you could wear it really either way. It doesn't really matter. I really like this one in particular because usually circle skirts and stuff that I try on, like skater skirts, end up like making my hips, like the hip right above my hip because I have kind of bigger hips and it like hits it really awkwardly and just makes them look even more accentuated which I don't want especially if I'm wearing like a tighter top with it but this one actually doesn't do that because it's a little bit more like stretchier and a looser fit so I really like that and it's a really cool material I don't know and this was $54 okay now the last thing I got like I said earlier is from Kate Spade and I'm so excited about this I cannot even contain myself okay so I went into Kate Spade just wanting to look for stationary stuff because I love my agenda if you guys have seen my February favorites and stuff I just love like uh, stationary stuff I don't know, I'm kind of like weirdly obsessed with it and they actually didn't have any of their stationery there, so I was kind of bummed. But then this purse caught my eye, and I was like, oh my gosh, I really want a new purse. Like, so badly, I've been wanting to just splurge on a purse. So I ended up getting it, and this is what it looks like. Oh! Just got lipstick on it, my bad. Love it so much. I think it's so pretty because all my purses are so slouching, like the cobblestone texture on my purses and this one is actually like sleek and nice which is just like a different look when I'm wearing like nicer outfits I don't know so I think it's kind of a uh, more classy look if you ask me and it has just a zipper on the outside and in the inside I haven't really even looked at it yet because I wanted to save it for this haul video but it has two pockets right here which is nice and I think the rest is just open actually it has a zipper pouch right here in the inside which is nice and the rest is just open so I can fit my other big wallet in here which is nice and I didn't have to get like a smaller one and this was actually okay get this it was originally $350 but at the outlet it was $255 and I ended up getting this purse for $160 so I thought that was such a good deal for this kind of purse especially since it was $350 to begin with so I'm glad that I got to get my purse that I've always wanted but without completely break in the bank and I'm super excited because I get to do an updated what's in my purse video soon once I break it in and get some stuff in this and everything so yes that is all that I got this weekend in Omaha my little shopping spree for the weekend as always be sure to follow me on all my social media sites Twitter Instagram Pinterest Vine Facebook all that stuff will be linked in the description box below I love talking to you guys on Twitter I feel like it's a little bit easier than replying to the comments sometimes even though I do try to do that as much as possible so go ahead and send me a tweet right now I would love to talk to you guys but other than that I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later bye